All right. Let's see what's been. It's been a little while. It's been about three months, but uh, we're back in action. Um, we're doing a transmission flush here on a 2006 Honda Accord. Uh, right here we have our materials. We have our fluid, which there's two versions. This probably isn't even out there really anymore, but this is the ATF Z1, which the Honda Automatics used previously. And that one, we have some leftovers, so we're gonna use that. And this is the new DW1. That's the current Honda fluid, uh, which is uh, supposed to inc uh, improve um, cold starting. So that's uh, why they changed the fluid apparently. And then we have, let's see, we have a clamp to, this one pinches off the lines so that we don't have transmission fluid running all over. And then we have our hose our extra hose so that we, we can hook it up to the cooler lines for when we're pumping the fluid out. And then also we're gonna have a big uh, oil pan. I don't know how many quarts that thing is, like 10 or 12 or something. <laughs> so we can so we can do, um, so we can get a lot of quarts pumped out. Uh, we have, what do we have? We have about nine, 79. Well, so um, we'll see what you can do up to maybe, maybe 12 to, flush out really good but we already did drain refill so I think this is enough huh? <laughs> alright so we'll get started oh wait a minute rewind so we have this is our filter don't forget that um, I'm not sure of the interval to change this filter but um, you know we like to be thorough with our maintenance and it's inexpensive part so uh, we're gonna change it it's, this one was only 18 bucks online uh, it might be more like 25, 30, 32 bucks at the dealer. Uh, this is part number 25430 PLR003. So that's the part number for the filter for this Accord. All right, now we can start. All right, first thing we're going to do is take off this engine undercover so that we can access the transmission cooler lines that are up above here. And then we're going to set our oil pan down here so all the fluid can be uh, drained out into that. Uh, there are several clips. There's one, two, three, four, uh, five, six. And then there's one up on either end. And then there's also, uh, let's see, I think that one's going to count there. And here, two screws um, that also are going to need to come out. So that's a 10 millimeter head right there. Uh, so we can uh, take that out. And then the clips, you can just pry them with a screwdriver. This one's already popped out, but you can see what. Oh, oh it's still stuck. Hmm, sometimes, even when they're pried out, they still don't come out. some new clips. <laughs> Maybe we need some WD-40. Alright, And then we gotta get the one on the side. Ideally, we're trying to save the clips and not have to buy more because they're not all that cheap. There we go. It came right up. Seems like once the WD-40 works its way in there, 
they can come out pretty easily. Alright, there's our collection. Let's see. Got one more. <laughs> Seems to have one more. There's one more way back here. It actually would be a lot easier if the tire was off. Yeah, we can probably twist it. There we go. Okay, so now we are uh, underneath the car, and this line, this is the one we're going to disconnect this rubber hose that goes into the bottom of the radiator. Uh, for the cooler and um, what we found is that uh, on the driver side here there's one that's closer to the passenger side this one's on the driver side we're going to disconnect it and then unclip it from the little support bracket and then you can run the hose behind this frame and get down into a pan so you actually don't need in this particular case you don't need any extra hose to try to hook up a, a line to run it into the oil pan so we're just going to take the, the 90 degree bend pliers and grab that clamp, slide it off, and then up in here where the support bracket is, I got it with some little small pliers, just squeeze the clip, plastic clip and push it out. Uh, can you see that at all? Yeah. So then, now that that's free, we can slide this off and then you gotta watch out because some fluid's gonna come out of course. So I'm gonna put the pan under there and then I'm just gonna pull it off and then pull it behind the frame and then there you go you can see it running out. So now we got it going into the pan and we're ready to uh, start flushing. Alright here we are at the top of the vehicle right next to the battery on, well, this is for the four-cylinder model. Um, there's your dipstick for your transmission. So we're just going to take that out because that's how we're going to refill the transmission. Set that aside and then get our long transmission funnel and uh, shove it into there. And then so what we'll do is we're going to um, run the engine for a few seconds and get the fluid pumping out of that line that we just disconnected down below and then once it starts to sputter then the fluid level is getting low we'll shut off the engine then we'll fill it back up again each time maybe doing uh, probably about three quarts maybe four so we're going to get started now all right now we're going to start up the car and let it run for a few seconds so we can uh, pump out some of that old transmission fluid All right, so now we shut it off and we're going to go fill up some uh, new transmission fluid. All right, first we're going to get rid of our old ATFZ1. We're going to pour that into the transmission here. All right, now we're going to go to the, the new standard here, D1, DW1. Alright, 
now, let's see, now we're ready for some more flushing. All right, now we're gonna go and turn the car on and flush it some more. Now we've uh, flushed out all of our fluid and it's coming out like a uh, brighter red now. We got clean fluid coming through. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this back in. Run the line back over the frame and plug it into the outlet there. And then don't forget to clip it in to the bracket. There we go. And then clamp it down. So we got it clamped in, then we're going to put our plastic cover back on, just clip it back in, put in the two uh, bolts, and then we're going to go up top and change our filter. Okay, so here we are, here is our transmission filter, right on top of the transmission. Um, it's right between the engine and uh, the electrical box here, just down below. Um, it's a little hard to see until you get some good light in there, but uh, it's held down by a bracket that's uh, held down with a 10 millimeter head bolt. And so we're gonna unbolt it. Just be careful, it's a small little bolt. It's easy to lose this little guy and drop it down there. So then this bracket just lifts up and it unhooks from the other side. So you can see there's there's a bolt on one side and a, a hook on the other side. So we'll set that aside. And then, see, so now our filter is free. I think what we're gonna do is just twist it so we can get the long needle nose pliers with the 90 degree angle on there. And then that way we can undo the clamp. Actually, I could use even longer pliers for this one. But I don't have it. Oh. Okay, there we go. Got the first clamp off. Oh, and then also we're going to put a rag under here before we pop this filter loose because it's surely going to drip some transmission fluid. off on both sides and we're gonna get that hose to free up all right so you can you got these little pliers that you can grab the hose with and twist get that try to get that something loose Oh, first we get that rag. All right, we'll just shove this thing under here. Oh, 
Oh, that side's ready to come out. It's a little hard to get in here <laughs> because of the uh, all the surrounding components. But uh, actually, I think maybe taking out the airbox would be nice, but that's a lot of extra work. Forty hop. I'll do that. DVD. Oh man, look at those are Bridgestone hoses. That's good. <laughs> look at that. It says Bridgestone right on there. Good stuff. Yeah, maybe I can. Yeah, I don't know how a pick will reach down in there. That's coming. Okay. Oh, too much fluid is gonna gush now. I don't know. I think because of its location being high up, there's not a lot of fluid in here. There we go, it's coming out. Okay, there's our old filter. I grabbed it by the bottom to try to catch any fluid coming out. But this filter, uh, you know, it doesn't show a direction on it that I can see, but I'm gonna make sure and put it back the same way the old one came out. So it had this ring toward the uh, back of the vehicle. And let's see, it actually goes in real easy when you put the new one in. Well, now they've got W40 all in, and oil all up in there. It's real easy to slide together. All right, now I'm gonna re-clamp it. Also make this easier. WD-40. <laughs> All right. Let's get that clamp going. There we go. Slides right into place with the little help with some WD-40. Let's see the back one. Let's see here. Yep. Trying to not damage the clamp, make sure I get a good grip on it. Scoot it all the way on. Well, there we go. Got it reclamped. And yeah, it's over the little hump. You can see the little hump that uh, that there is on the the tubing there. So, anyways, all right. So we got it all hooked up again. Now we just gotta clamp it down. There's a little hole in another bracket down below, and you gotta pop that into the slot there and hold it in there. And then you can get your your bolt in to fasten it down. Let's see, make sure we're in there. There we go. 
working in tight quarters so it's, it's a little bit of a pain but it's doable so yeah now we got just tighten this bracket down and we're ready to refill the system and put it back on the road there we go all right so uh when you're flushing out the transmission uh it's supposed to be uh, the, the amount of fluid that comes out is supposed to be about three and a half quarts. So we just did a round of flushing and we ran the engine until the fluid stopped coming out or very little was coming out of the uh, cooler line. So now we're going to put in three quarts and then we're going to run the engine and shut it off and check the level and see how we're doing. And then we'll adjust it after that if we need to. stick back in and we'll turn it on all right be careful when you're putting that dipstick in you don't want to jam it up and bend it there we go all right so we're running the engine for a bit to circulate the fluid and we're gonna Put the car into gear. Drive in reverse usually works good. Then put it back into park and shut her off. See, there's two dots that you want to have the level between. So push it all the way in, bring it back out. Ooh, it looks like we're right down at the bottom, so we can put a little bit more. What do you think? A quarter? Half? A quarter. Nearly, yeah, only a quarter. Okay. All right, we'll check it again. Uh, these caps don't come off too well. <laughs> All right. Okay. expanded yet so what do you think good yeah i think it's good all right so just push that dipstick in there get it to sit in there and actually seal up the, the opening and uh there you go so we got a safe level on the transmission fluid and uh everything's clamped up buttoned up and ready to go